the the outcome could could be uh, no less than disastrous. Ludo, the European Commission has ordered tech giant Apple to pay back more than 13 billion euros in taxes, which they say the company has avoided paying in the past 10 years to Ireland. What do you make of this ruling? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, um, let's have a look at um, the um, say scheme that uh, Apple benefited from. Um, if you look at the end result, um, I think um, the taxes that Apple effectively paid in 2014 were down to uh, 0.005% of uh, its corporate profits, which is, um, well, let's say, at least very aggressive um, in terms of uh, the corporate rate they had to pay. Um, so um, this was due to the fact that Apple was able to um, allocate the profits relating to all the sales that it made um, in Europe, I think the European Union and other European countries, um, to uh, two Irish uh, companies they had. Um, and um, effectively the Irish government um, entered into or gave a ruling whereby uh, the tax was reduced to, to this amount. Now, uh, one of the problems uh, with these two companies was that um, you can argue that there was not really any substance because the, the, um, those companies did not have uh, the personnel, they didn't even have uh, premises in Ireland. So one can say, um, well, with the view of the practitioner like ourselves, um, that really that, that gives a problem in the sense that um, there is no substance uh, behind these companies. Um, so, um, in fact, the, the, the two positions, uh, the, the position of the European Commission and the position of Ireland I, are uh, diametrically opposed. Um, one has to bear in mind that the normal corporate tax rate in Ireland is already very low. So any company uh, paying taxes in Ireland pays 12.5%. Now, that's quite different from this ruling, which uh, states that effectively um, the company paid virtually nothing anymore. Um, but when the European Commission um, attacks Ireland in this way, it's like uh, trying to hit a wasp, because uh, Ireland is incredibly sensitive to, um, to um, well, to this. Why? Because it's, it's been part of its policy. And for Ireland, it's, it's crucial that uh, in the future, companies can say, okay, the tax incentives that we get in Ireland, they will last and certainly um, that um, people cannot go back in time and uh, this way create a, a legal uncertainty in relation to, to taxes. So, um, on the other hand, you have the European Commission. Um, they have no problem with the fact that tax rates are low in any country. Um, there's even lower rates than 12.5% in, in within the European Union. But what they never like is preferential regimes for certain companies. So the whole argument is now whether Apple was benefiting from a preferential regime. Now, unfortunately, the, the ruling that the tax rate of so low of uh, such a low percentage was based on is not even available. Even the um, Irish Parliament, when they discussed uh, whether they should appeal against uh, the European Commission decision, they did not have the, the the ruling in front of them. So that's one of the difficulties in in the whole discussion. Um, so you have this these two positions which are uh, completely opposed at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. So sort of as you said, the Irish government has spoken out against this ruling. The, the parliament actually voted uh, on it, yeah. Yeah, and they've decided that they're going to appeal the decision. Exactly. Do you think that appeal will be successful? Well, when, when you believe Tim Cook, he, he's confident <laughs> that it will be successful. I would have my doubts because uh, I think it's going to um, become very much um, a legal argument and I'm sure that um, 28 lawyers uh, working for the European Commission have already looked at this and uh, have uh, come to the conclusion that yes, uh, it was a preferential regime of this company and um, um, yes, they, they can go back in time to say that it, it was. Uh, so I would be pessimistic um, as to the outcome for, uh, well, 
depending on whose side you're on, <laughs> optimistic for the European Commission, but uh, pessimistic for Ireland. Yeah. If the appeal was to fail and Apple does pay back the tax amount, what do you think this will mean for the Irish economy? What type of repercussions will we see? Mm, well, we, well, one should not only look at what it would mean for the Irish economy, one, one should look at um, the situation in different countries because um, there's a very similar case um, running um, uh, between the European Commission and Belgium uh, regarding the excess profit uh, rulings. So Belgium gave a, a similar um, ruling. They've also appealed. So I think that um, the yeah, the, the outcome could, could be uh, n no less than disastrous because which company is going to uh, commit itself to, uh, to invest um, in, in a country where they don't necessarily have uh, real practical or day-to-day -day links um, to, set up, to set up business? So um, it's all very well that, that Ireland has already attracted so much business, but for the future uh, I would be... Uh, yeah, it, it is worrying. Um, I think that the main problem, and that's already al also um, stated by um, a business roundtable in, in the States, where there um, were 185 executives of, of uh, big American companies. They've written a letter to all the heads of state um, of, of the European states saying that this is a real problem. But Unfortunately, I don't think it's, it's going to um, do anything because this is going to end up before the Court of Justice uh, in, in Luxembourg. There's going to be lawyers looking at this. Is, they're not going to be concerned with uh, the politics of the matter, I think. Um, and rightly so, because at this stage it's, it's become a, a legal matter, it's not a political matter anymore. Well, Ludo, thank you so much for coming in and discussing this topic with us and sharing your expertise. You're welcome. That's all from myself and Ludo today, but if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and comment on our website, dukascopy.tv.